Zach Pickup here, and welcome back to another lesson video. Today, I will be going over the 8-2 text. So let's jump right into the video. Alrighty, so as I had stated before, I am going to be going over the 8-2 text, which is the second lesson in Chapter 8. And in this lesson, we will be learning about recording closing entries. Okay, so there's just a few key terms that I'd like to go over before we start the accounting part of this lesson. So permanent accounts are accounts used to accumulate information from one fiscal period to the next. Temporary accounts are accounts used to accumulate information until it is transferred to the owner's capital account. And closing entries are journal entries used to prepare temporary accounts for a new fiscal period. All right, next we're gonna be talking about the need for the income summary account. So as we learned in chapter six, when revenue is greater than total expenses, we have a net income. And when total expenses are greater than revenue, we have a net loss. So if we have a net income, we would debit income summary and then credit the owner's capital account. And if we had a net loss, we would debit the owner's capital account and then credit income summary. Okay, next we're gonna be talking about the closing entry for an income statement account with a credit balance. So when we record the closing entry for an income statement account with a credit balance, there are a few steps that we follow when doing this process. First, we write the heading. Next, we write the date. After that, we write the title of the account debited and then record the debit amount. And finally, we write the title of the account credited and then record the credit amount. Alright, next we're going to be talking about the closing entry for income statement accounts with debit balances. So when we record the closing entry for income statement accounts with debit balances, there are a few steps that we follow when doing this process. First, we write the date. Next, we write in the words income summary. After that, we write our credits. And remember that expense accounts have normal debit balances, so in order to close them, we need to credit them. And the last thing that we do is write in the debit amount. And the sum of all of the expense accounts added together should equal the income summary amount that is listed right here. Okay, next we're going to be talking about the closing entry to record net income or net loss and close the income summary account. So when we record the closing entry to record net income or net loss and close the income summary account, there are a few steps that we follow when doing this process. First, we write the date. Next, we record the debit. And finally, we record the credit. Now, if you notice here, we have a net income. So since we have a net income, we debit income summary and we credit the owner's capital account. If we had a net loss, these two accounts would be flipped 
and we would have subtracted the amount when posting from the journal to the general ledger. All right, the last thing that we're going to be talking about in this lesson is the closing entry for the owner's drawing account. So when we record the closing entry for the owner's drawing account, there are a few steps that we follow when doing this process. First, we write the date. Next, we record the debit. And finally, we record the credit. All right, so that is the end of the 8-2 text. In the next video, I will be going over the 8-2 work together. Okay, thank you.